we are shopping the 2023 Trader Joe's Christmas peppermint, all of their winter holiday foods. They do have peppermint hold the cones. Okay, now look at this. This is the Trader Joe's peppermint wine cocktail. They also look what's back. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite. Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Today we are shopping the 2023 Trader Joe's Christmas peppermint, all of their winter holiday foods. This is my favorite Trader Joe's video to film of the whole year because I am a self-pronounced peppermint queen. Like I love everything peppermint. I love all of their peppermint stuff. So I'm super excited to go in and show you what they have that's new for this year. We're gonna be shopping in stores and then when I get home, I will be doing a Trader Joe's haul and they have some really fun items this year as well as a little bit of a Trader Joe's Christmas taste test. So let's head into Trader Joe's and see what is new for this year. I am so excited. Okay, they're doing something really fun this year. They have these reusable mystery pack bags. So inside these mystery packs, you get three reusable bags from around the country. So like here are some of the regional ones. There is like a Georgia one and Florida, but inside these mystery bags, I don't know which one we would end up getting, but I definitely think that I should get one. Like how fun is that? It's only $3 and you get three reusable bags. I just think it would be like really fun to do together when we get home. Okay, so this is new to me, but apparently it's something that they've had for a really long time. It's called Jingle Jangle. They have a limit of five per customer and it comes in this tin. I mean, we're gonna get it because like we have to try it out, but I don't know, I haven't tried it before. It looks like it has, I don't even know, like pretzels and little like Trader Joe's Reese's cups, maybe nuts. I'm not 100% sure, but we're gonna get one. Okay, here is a lot of the holiday stuff and I'm so excited that these are back. I loved these so much last year. These are the candy cane covered almonds. I'm definitely picking some of these up. You also see some cinnamon bun inspired truffles. Those look good. They always have tons of truffles. So this is like boozy little chocolate truffles. This is whatever that is, dark chocolate truffles. And then the really popular English toffee. This is back, should I get this? I know that this is so popular. Normally I get like one of the smaller bags. This big tin is $10.99, but let me know if I should get one of these because I know this is really good. Down here they have this cinnamon sugar toffee trio. Cinnamon sugar covered almond toffee squares with, my, with milk, dark, and chocolate. I can't even read it, I'm so excited. Okay, this sounds delish. I love toffee. Brian doesn't like it, but I'm gonna pick these up. Then they also have the peppermint pretzel slims. Those are really good. I've gotten those a few times, as well as the Scandinavian tidings instead of the swimmers. It's just like the Christmas version, but this looks really good. It's cinnamon and sugar covered almond toffee squares with white milk and dark chocolate coating. Sounds so good. More peppermint items. They have this foaming hand soap. They have a body butter trio. This would be a really good gift. It comes with lavender, santal, white gardenia, and pineapple bergamot. That would be a really good stocking stuffer. Ooh, wait, what's this? What's this? Candy cane body butter? Shimmering? Oh my God, that sounds so good. These also have a limit. I feel like I haven't seen limits here before. These are also $5.99. Oh my goodness. I need all of this. Oh, this is cool. Brazil Nut Body Trio. This would be such a good gift or a stocking stuffer. I think this is meant to be similar to the like Sol de Janeiro or whatever brand that everyone is obsessed with, like the Bum Bum Cream. I think this is like the Trader Joe's version. That gift set is $12.99. Of course, they have the Candy Cane JoJo's. These are $4.49. These are the gluten-free version. They do also have gluten-filled Candy Cane JoJo's. It looks like, oh, they do have some all the way in the back. Here are the normal ones. I'm definitely gonna have to pick these up too. Oh my goodness. And then it looks like this year they also have chocolate covered ones. These are dark chocolate covered peppermint JoJo's. Those look delish. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna stick with the regular. They have the cookie mug hangers. These are one of the things they brought back from last year. They're so cute. They just go on the side of your mug. These are $2.99. A few other things are the dark chocolate stars, the mini mint stars, and the gingerbread people. So a few more cookie items that they've brought back from years past. These look new to me, raspberry croissant carré, all butter croissant with raspberry filling. That looks so delicious. That looks really, really good. They also have these teeny tiny apple pies. Ooh, vegan gingerbread loaf. They always have so many good like vegan and gluten-free options, which I love, because that just means that there's stuff for everyone. Chocolate dipped Danish cookies. Those look super fancy and good. Those are $5.99. 
I'm really intrigued by this though. Looks so delicious. They do have peppermint hold the cones, but it looks like they're out of stock right now. Unfortunately, I totally would have got them. They always have all the normal flavors. So they have like vanilla, chocolate, chocolate chip. They had pumpkin for the fall and then they have peppermint. So it just looks like I'll have to make a second trip back, but they do come in peppermint. See another gingerbread item, iced gingerbread squares. Soft baked gingerbread bars glazed with icing. Are you meant to like eat them frozen? I have not had these before. Are you supposed to bake them? Oh yeah, you thaw at room temperature and then you can also heat them from frozen. Those sound really, really good. Oh my gosh, wait. We got these um, for fall. They were delicious. Hopefully this is something they keep around and like these don't just go away like once all the fall stuff's really gone. But these were amazing. They're like, it's just a pancake that's filled with cinnamon sugar. Put some butter and maple syrup on them or like vanilla ice cream. Oh my God, they were excellent. In the cookie section or the refrigerated section, they have this Trader Joe's all sugar cookie dough. This would be so good for any like holiday baking you're doing, especially if you have those like shaped cookie cutouts. Those would be, this would be so cool. I might make up a roll of this, honestly. Like if we wanted to decorate cookies, this is so nice because it's like already done for you. Another thing I might pick up, I'm mostly just getting like Christmas items today, but I bought these the last time I was here, the overnight oats, and I loved them. I know it's a lot cheaper to like make them yourself. They also have like apple and peanut butter and a few other flavors, I think, but they were really good. So if you haven't tried these, I recommend. My favorite thing about Christmas season, besides for peppermint stuff, is definitely eggnog. And I've seen it at all the other stores, so I'm excited to see it here. They have regular eggnog for $2.99. They also have the light version, so light eggnog. I love to add like cinnamon, but I do think you have to like cut it with milk. I haven't tried the Trader Joe's one, but normal like store-bought eggnogs, you have to cut them with milk in my opinion. My mom makes homemade eggnog every Christmas and it's nothing like the store-bought kind, but I do have a love in my heart for this kind as well. But let me know down below, do you guys love eggnog or hate it? Here are the other Christmas ice creams. So can't get my hand on the hold the cones, but they do have the Candy Cane JoJo's ice cream. This is like the pint. And then they also have this gingerbread ice cream. These are $3.79 each. These look so, so good. Um, I picked up one of the ice creams last time I was here and I loved it. Peppermint and vanilla ice cream swirled with fudge and chunks of candy cane JoJo's. Oh my God, that sounds heavenly. They have these Christmas sprinkles. Again, would be really cute for any baking. Make it so easy. You could just come to Trader Joe's. You can get that cookie dough we were just looking at, some sprinkles and make some icing. They also have this multi-flavor mini pretzel. So you get like a variety. This is $7.99 for this big box. This was $1.99. These look really good. They're like crackers. I like the shape of them. These would be really pretty for a charcuterie board. This is a new flavor of the chili crunch, the chili onion crunch. These are so good to cook eggs in. Like if you just put this in a pan, then crack your egg. It's like all the flavor you could ever need or want. Let me know if you guys would do anything else with this. I can't think of what else I would want to do. This would also be great for a charcuterie board. What are these? Sprinkled with raspberry. What's a Rondo? I have not tried these before, but they have caramelized pecan crunch and raspberry and strawberry tart. These look good too, cranberry butter cookies. I love me a good Danish butter cookie. And these also look delicious. These cinnamon swizzle sticks. Oh my gosh, those are $3.99. Okay, here are two more items. These are the Trader Joe's peppermint flavored baking chips. If you were doing like chocolate cookies, like if you did like cocoa powder in the dough or something, these would be really good, like a chocolate peppermint cookie. And then I also found these mini marshmallows. These would be so cute for a hot chocolate bar or for any like hot chocolate you're making. They also have a larger bag. So they have a smaller bag and a larger of these peppermint mini marshmallows. They have the classic glue wine for $6.99. This is so cool. You actually like heat this up. I was a manager in the Germany Pavilion at Epcot for a long time. And this was such a popular thing we sold there. This is $6.99. Have you guys ever had it? Let me know. Okay, now look at this. This is the Trader Joe's peppermint wine cocktail. They also have it in a cocoa cream. These look so good. So you can just chill them and drink them straight up or like mix it with ice cream and do like a adult milkshake. Now that is something I could get behind. I'm definitely tempted. This is $7.99. Should I get this? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm like, I need it. Uh, peppermint, I mean, I need it. Two more things that are good to have. This would also be a good mixer for any like holiday cocktails. This is the winter wassail punch. This is so popular. It's cherry, black currant, and lemon juice. Um, and it also has holiday spices and orange peel. It's like infused with those. 
And then this spicy snack mix is also just really good for any like little bowls that you have out, just like little snack bowls, just good for people to snack on. I'm probably gonna pick up one or two of these as well. They also have the step up to the snack bar mix and this has a bunch of different things in it as well. But you guys know me and I love everything spicy. So we're gonna pick up maybe two of these. Not only do they have the peppermint body scrub, they also have the whipped hot cocoa or actually the other one might be a body butter. So then this one's a body scrub. So is this for like in the shower? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, so this one's a body butter and then this one's a body scrub. So you can use this one in the shower. I mean, okay, sign me up. Okay, Trader Joe's I guess has decor now. They have these felted wool garlands and then these wreaths. This one is like blues, greens, reds, and white. Then they have grays. This is more of like a fall colored like placemat, but I have not seen decor here before. This is a first for me. These are $19.99 and the garlands are $9.99. Here are the small bags of the English toffee. This is normally what I get, just so that I can, you know, just have a little serving. This is $1.49. But then look what they also have down here. This handmade candy cane. This is $1.49. It's like a classic traditional Christmas candy cane. That is so cool. Oh, with cocoa cream filled center. Oh my gosh, I have not seen these here before. This is so cool. This is 150. A few more things right here that would be really good gifts, like this organic Italian pasta, panoply of organic pasta. You get a bunch of different kinds, lemon flavored. Wow, that's so cool. That is $9.99. Then they do also have this truffle oil duo with black truffle and white truffle. I didn't even know there was two different kinds of truffle. This is $5.99. Brian would really like this. This would be a great stocking stuffer or both of these would make a great gift as well as these olives, these blue cheese stuffed olives. These are a must have for holiday parties if you're doing any like fancy martinis. There's some fun stuff right there. And then also this freezer stuff, I picked up some of this and we're gonna look at it when I get home. A lot of this stuff we've seen, here's a hot cocoa polar bear. I think you're meant to like drop that in milk. They also have this festive chocolate collection that is adorable. <gasps> the peppermint bark! Oh my gosh, come to mama. This is $10.99. I normally like to buy the Williams Sonoma one and I think I'm going to the mall soon, so I might hold out for that. But they also have these peppermint creams, soft, creamy, minty bites. Those look good. That's $3.99 so many amazing peppermint items this year so many amazing peppermint items all the time at trader joe's these look good too mini peppermint meringues i'm not the biggest fan of meringue but i do love anything peppermint so if you're a fan of both these are at trader joe's this year look what's back oh my gosh this is my favorite the salty honey toffee milk chocolate covered crackers i'm buying a couple boxes of this because this is one of my favorite trader joe's christmas items yay Okay, I am home now and I'm gonna show you what I got from Trader Joe's, but we have to start with my mystery item. So it's three mystery bags. They're just reusable bags from like all over the country, I guess. It says no peeking. And I did peek in the first one I grabbed and I decided not to get it because I saw the bag said Indiana. No offense to anyone from Indiana. And then I was like, well, I've ruined the fun for myself. So let me grab a different one. All right, so we're gonna reveal them like Pokemon cards. The first one I got is Philadelphia. The next one I got is Alabama. I'm gonna give this one to a friend who's from Alabama probably. And then I also got, what's this? This one's really cute, Joe's Campground, Colorado. Oh my gosh, this one's really cute. It's like the map of, oh my God. Wait, and that's really cute too. That's like a ski lodge one. So it's a campground and then like a ski lodge, Joe's Summit. Are these all double-sided? Oh my gosh. This is so cute. And then Philadelphia has all these like foods on the back. Okay, that's super cute. Obviously I was like hoping for Massachusetts or something, but these are really fun. I really, really love the Colorado one. So that's what was in my mystery bag. Um, I think it was super fun. It was only like three bucks. And worst comes to worst, if you're like traveling people's houses for Christmas, bring Christmas presents in them and then just be like, oh, I left my bag. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the foods and a ton of taste tests because I can't wait. We'll do the like holiday foods first because I have a bag that's like kind of normal stuff that I haven't tried before. So I did get two of these salted honey toffee milk chocolate covered crackers because Brian and I both 
absolutely love these so i picked up two of those had to something that's new to me that i'm gonna rip open right now is the cinnamon sugar toffee trio let me open this i just have to i'll eat a white chocolate piece because i know well brian doesn't like toffee at all so i could probably have whatever one i want this looks so good it was a milk chocolate piece Mmm. I don't see any white chocolate ones. My bag looks like all dark chocolate. I'm not mad about it. It's really good. Okay, next in my bag of treats. Candy Cane JoJo's. Obviously. I haven't had these in a long time. But I'm sure that they're really good. They do also have them in gluten free. So I picked those up. Not super fun, but I picked up this box of crackers. This is the scalloped cracker trio. It has rosemary, red chili, and garlic crackers. I just love all of their crackers, and I feel like it's just a good thing to have this time of the year. We make lots of charcuterie boards and stuff. So I did also pick up two of these. These are the spicy snack bar mix. So I picked up two of those. Again, I just feel like it's good to have for any little, like, bowls to have around if like people are coming over and you can put it on a charcuterie board also just a good snack in general i also picked up two of the candy cane covered almonds i'm so excited that these are back i loved these last year so i'm really excited and i had to pick up two of them brian doesn't like white chocolate so i won't have to share those with him which is the best part also in this bag which is new to me i'm not going to open it right now but this is the Jingle Jangle. And apparently this is like a really, really popular item because they were like limiting it, which I thought was super interesting. But yeah, this is the Holiday Jingle Jangle, a fun mix of fan favorite candy treats. Just has like a bunch of different stuff in here. I don't know, I think Brian will really, really like this, especially because it seems very like sweet and salty and he loves stuff like that. So I think that he will like that a lot. And then the last thing I got in this bag, is this peppermint wine cocktail the wine cocktail is like really throwing me off but i don't know i just feel like we'll be able to make like some really good stuff with it this year and i just love peppermint everything so i had to try it and worst comes to worst blend it with some vanilla ice cream there's no way it could be bad so that's my plan and then in my second bag these are some items that i always get and love and some i have never tried i got two bags of the chicken cilantro mini wontons because brian is obsessed with these he'll just like eat them in a bowl as like a whole meal then i did also pick up two of the buffalo style chicken poppers never tried these i was with a friend and she said that she absolutely loved them so i picked up two white chicken meat and spicy cheese filling wrapped in a wonton sounds absolutely delicious and they sounded like a good little appetizer for like football sunday another thing that sounded good were these crispy vegetable pouches they're just like again in crispy wontons and then there's just veggies inside and that sounded really really good and then i also picked up never tried these the herbaceous cheesy bites again just sounded fun for like a football sunday something to snack on when we like just want a little appetizer, but like we're not ready for a full meal. Um, another thing my friend said was really good was this roasted hatch chili and jalapeno cheese dip. This would be so good with like crackers or like bread. You could serve it with like cut up bread. That would be really, really good. And then the last thing I got in here was a box of brown rice. Um, our dogs, one of them wasn't like feeling super great the other day and I was like searching for this in the freezer. Um, but our freezer broke um for my birthday we came back from my birthday trip and our fridge and freezer were both like completely broken um so we had to throw away all of our food <laughs> that was such a bummer but um that is everything i picked up from trader joe's i'm super excited about all of the candy cane items i do feel like there was a lot of items that i didn't see or like items that were missing or maybe they didn't come back from last year like the chocolate peppermint baking mix someone please tell me that that came back because i did not see it and i searched all over the store for it for that specifically um that's one that i really love 
And if I miss anything else, definitely let me know. I might have to make a second trip because I just feel like these items are not going to last. But that is everything I picked up today at Trader Joe's. Thank you guys so much for shopping with me today and every day. If you guys like this video, please give it a like. Hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. I've also been decorating my whole house for Christmas. So if you're looking for Christmas decorating ideas, I'll have all those videos linked down below. But thank you guys so much for shopping with me today and every day. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.